Hello, my name is Stuart Hudson, and I'm going to discuss with you today how our pavement management module predicts pavement deterioration rates and projects pavement maintenance and rehabilitation needs into the future. I'm going to discuss how pavement analysts forecast pavement condition and weighs the value of preservation and rehabilitation treatments at each year into the future. The PMS has a plethora of pavement deterioration and performance models that predict how quickly various pavement conditions will develop over time. Conditions including roughness, cracking, rutting, and other defects in the pavement that should be repaired in a timely manner can be forecasted. Based on these future predicted conditions, appropriate treatments are recommended in the years they are needed, including their costs. Different pavements deteriorate differently due to pavement type and structure, environment, soil conditions, traffic level, and many other factors. In the PMS, we divide the road network into levels of these most important factors and assign a deterioration model to each level combination. This is done by applying a decision tree to define the levels and assign a deterioration model at the end of each decision tree branch. Let's follow a branch to illustrate. Initially, we will look at pavement type, then environmental zone, Next is the last rehabilitation type performed on that pavement. And finally, the traffic level of the section. Various levels of each of these factors have different performance models assigned appropriately. At the end of the branch, the user assigns a deterioration model. This is done for every condition variable that you want to deteriorate. All this is user modifiable, including the set of condition variables, the decision tree and its components, the list of decision factors and their levels, the deterioration models assigned at the end of each branch, and finally, the deterioration model forms themselves. In the bottom right pane, we see that TxDOT has over 1,000 predefined deterioration models of various forms and deterioration rates. These can deteriorate fully in 10, 20, 30, 40, or any number of years defined by the models. They can deteriorate linearly, exponentially, inverse exponentially, as well as many other potential forms. For your in-house developed algorithms, we can fit a current model to them or create a new form. In fact, we recently created a sigmoidal model form for the Texas DOT. Now let's look at individual section performance. Deterioration is applied in every analysis to each individual section. This window demonstrates the deterioration of any pavement in the network for each conditioned variable as it is applied in these analyses. The green dots represent past condition measurements and the red dot is the current year measurement. The yellow line is the basic form of the deterioration curve, and the pink line is how that curve form will model the deterioration starting from the current condition level and project conditions into the future. Decision trees are used to select the appropriate preservation or rehabilitation treatment for every section for each of the future analysis years. This screen shows an example decision tree for alligator cracking. The initial decision point is based on traffic level. And then we look at the asphalt alligator cracking severity level. Based on these decision points, the appropriate treatment will be recommended, such as asphalt preventive maintenance or light rehabilitation. The appropriate treatment to be performed at the appropriate time is selected and then can be added to future work programs, including the MMS program for preservation activities. And that completes this brief demonstration of how pavement deterioration and pavement preservation needs are predicted in the Pavement Management System module.